What's up, y'all? My name is Kara, aka K Sleep Fitness, and you are now tuned in with Quest. Dang it. Okay, I'm over this now. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> 20 questions with Weezy. 20 questions with Weezy. One more time. I'm going to What's up, y'all? My name is Kara, aka K Sleep Fitness, and you are now tuned in with 20 questions with Weezy. Yo, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hi. What's up? What's going on with you? Just living life. I feel you. I feel you. I'm sorry about that. That was a great text I just got. I feel you. You living life, though. I feel you. I feel you. So, um, I'm glad to have you on the show. Yes. Y'all, it took me a month to get on the show. I just want to let everybody know this. Everybody. I told her, don't start. Don't start. Okay, <laughs> look. I got my reason and why. She don't listen. Look. But I'm <laughs> here now. Here. You on here now. You know what I mean? You definitely on here now. So, you definitely on here. <laughs> so, um, so I know you as Kara. You know what I mean? But you, you go by something completely different. You know what I mean? What do, yeah. you, what do you go by? Well, I go by a different variety of names, but my main is K-Slay Fitness. So a lot of people call me K-Slay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. K-Slay. So, okay, K-Slay. I'm going to start calling you K-Slay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, no, you said K-Slay Fitness, though. Mm -hmm. So you're a fitness instructor? Yes. I wear, like, different caps, hats, however you want to say it. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I do personal training, but okay. I'm also a physical therapist assistant. So. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, so so you're an assistant. Mm hmm So you so you licensed? Yes. Oh shoot. So you real deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. No, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She cut me like twice. Um first time didn't hurt at all. Well no stress, no pressure. But that second time though, never again. Never again. I no, swear. he's gonna get it again, trust me. No, I I'm gonna make sure of it. I am. I am though, cause she do good work. She do good quality work. Um, so with being a fitness instructor, I mean, like I know, I know a lot of people work out. You know what I mean? Like they and they and they work out. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. are there like different types of workouts that you really should be doing? Like, um, it really just depends on the person. Okay. Really, so like people our age, you know, in like the twenties to thirty range, okay. you know, you should be at least doing some type of movement a day you know what i mean so like 30 minutes to an hour of doing something so you can do like full body or squats or upper body whatever the case may be so you said a movement though i mean like yeah playing video games no 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 like actually no. like going outside and walking when the weather's not trash <laughs> but you're moving though you're moving on the game no you're just moving your thumbs that's cool no because you're gonna end up getting like carpal tunnel it get real on the game though it get real Get rid of, especially 2K. No. Especially 2K. <laughs> Get rid of. Um, so, okay, cool. So, like, is your job as an instructor, I mean, like, how do you go about, like, getting clients? Um, I mainly post, like, on social media. So, like, all my social media sites, you know, from Facebook to TikTok. Um, and then also word of mouth. Okay. Yeah. So, word of mouth. I mean, so speaking of word of mouth, I know like word of mouth is how I got out here. Mm -hmm. Like word of mouth is like one of the most biggest things you can do by like advertisement. Oh yeah. By advertising, I mean doing the ads, Facebook ads, and all that. That's cool too. That gets you out here too. But there's nothing like that word of mouth. Yes. You know what I mean, because that's like your credit, your credentials. Mm -hmm. I mean, but speaking of credentials, what are your credentials? <laughs> <laughs> all my credentials. No, uh, all you know what I, mean, but I mean, I don't have a lot, but okay. so basically, it's cool. It's cool. like, so I have many different like degrees, basically. Okay. So my mm -hmm. first degree is in exercise physiology. That's a bachelor's degree in that. So that's how I went into personal training. Oh no. And then my second one is an associate in physical therapy. So that's how I got physical therapist assistant in that realm. But I also do like powerlifting as well. Oh, okay. Dang, you got a degree in powerlifting? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just love powerlifting. I'm like, like Joe, what? I wish. That'd be awesome. Man, that'd be crazy. Um, so in powerlifting, what's what's the most you can lift? Now, before you say that, 
Don't intimidate the dudes out here. You know I'm mean? sorry, y'all. Like, I like, probably look heavier than y'all, but it's okay. God, it's okay. That a challenge? You can get up there. Yes, it is, actually. Ooh, that's a challenge. That's Especially a challenge. in dads. Don't play with oh, me. Dad, so, she, said, she said don't play with her. <laughs> I actually recently did all of my maxes, but today I got past my max. I did reps of my max of my bitch. Yeah, so it's not my max anymore. I gotta do a new max of that. But that's size point. So um, for squat, it's 235. Dang, 235. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Bench is 115. Okay. And then for deadlift, it's 300. So you're telling me you can pick up somebody that's 300 right now? <laughs> Probably. 300 pounds? Yeah. Got right. it. Easy. Right. That's easy word. That's light. Mm. She said <laughs> it's slight. <laughs> she said it's slight. It's like we gon' we gon' put her up to the challenge. More we'll be tuning in on that. <laughs> More we'll be tuning in on that. So, um, yo, Brian, your business. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you been in business with K Slay Fitness? So this year in August of 2022 will be four years. Mm. Dang, four years. Yeah. That's what's up. It's a long time. I know. <laughs> but it's short. Yeah, it's short. Like, it went by fast, really. And I was like, wow, it's about to be four years, for real. All right, crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so, as you getting clients and whatnot, and I know, like, you post videos on all your social medias and whatnot, and I follow you and I watch you, do you, um, do you get any guys in your inbox, like, trying to hit on you from light lifting? They be like, oh, y'all want to lift. And then they try to hit on you, or... Um, or is that kind of like that DM move, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to like try to hit you up and take you out? <laughs> uh, I would say on Instagram I had like an incident where somebody was on that and like they were just commenting on like my story on Instagram and it was annoying so I blocked them. Okay. But <laughs> so y'all don't, don't try to DM her. Don't talk crazy y'all or crazy. I will block you, okay? Uh, Snapchat. Sheesh. It just depends on the person, really. So since I didn't know the guy, I was just like, uh, no. But people on Snapchat, they like slide up on my DMs or whatever, and just like talk about like my figure when I'm working out, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'll just ignore them. Okay. Okay. Since I actually know them, or I can just talk smack back to them. Since like right. you know, it's different with a person you know versus a person you don't know. But okay. I can still block y'all too. So don't get it twisted. Dang, she finna block me, y'all. Cause I'm finna be in her inbox like, hey, I need that rapper body. You feel him? I need that rapper body. You funny. I'm not a rapper though. Not a rapper. Not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, so so we be having our talks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, so you don't just do that. You also design. Oh way. yeah, you that's what I was I saying. Know. I got different hats. You got different hats. You know what I mean? Look, look. You gotta have more than one hustle out here. Oh yeah. In the streets. If you want to be a millionaire today, you gotta have more than one hustle. Like mm -hmm. for real. So what do you, you you design? So like. Yeah. So like this, <laughs> <laughs> I made myself, and then like. So y'all can see okay. it. CEO. You Carl. know. CEO. Oh, that's hard. Say my name right. It's Karen. Man, I did. Dang. You see? Man. He don't I love me, y'all. Oh, that suck? No, I know it was. Man, we had this whole conversation earlier. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it is Karen, though. It's Karen. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, I make anything from masks to pants, hoodies. Shoot, I can even put a logo on the sock. <laughs> oh, dang. That kind of thing. That's so, all. Oh. Yeah, so I do like different things like that, and then also like I make like mugs, yeah. wine glasses. Oh shoot! So you getting into the accessories? Yeah, yeah. so like, I can do like different designs on them and everything like that. That's hard. Yeah, y'all, she can make anything but my shirt. <laughs> oh, she can't his shirt make my shirt. is no, nah, his shirt she is difficult, y'all. She can't make my shirt. I'll make it eventually. <sighs> Stay tuned. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> but no, so okay. So, um, like, with your training and whatnot, do you have a certain, like, resume that you, like, require people to, like, train with you? Or, like, do you ask a certain requirement or? Um, okay, so, basically, when somebody hits me up, so, like, say you hit me up and you're like, yo, I want to train with you, yada, yada, yada. And I'll be like, all right, like, tell me what, you know, dates, times or whatever that you have. 
available and then I'll look at my schedule and see, you know, where I can fit you in mm. outside of like my other training appointments. Okay. And so I'll send out this Google Doc and it basically just explain you'll just like, you know, fill out your information, basic information, and then it'll ask you questions about like what are you like sedentary? Are you, you know, intermediate or are you advanced? Okay. So are you just lazy and sitting on the couch? Or do you know work out every now and then, or do you be in the gym five times a week? Mm, okay, kind of thing. But most people that come to me, they're you know basically like sedentary to intermediate kind of thing. So like they've worked out before, but they don't currently work out, so that's why they come to me. Oh, okay, so that'd be me. Yes, that'd be me. Yes. Right. <laughs> so that's basically what right. like what what you go through, just like a little survey thing, and then and then your goals. Like, what are you trying to do? You trying to lose weight? You trying to tone up? You trying to gain muscle? You know what I mean? Okay. So that kind of thing. And then we just get started. Get it rocking. That's what's up. That's hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I, I'm going to keep it honest with you. I probably won't come just because I'm lazy. You know what I mean? No, I'm playing. I, I, I do got to get back in the gym. He do. I, I gotta, I, I'm going to force him. Don't gotta worry. I got to get toned up. I got to get toned up. I get big on <laughs> You know what I mean? For your rapper body? Yeah, for my rapper body. You know what I mean? Stay tuned for this summer, y'all. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so cool. So um, with like working out and doing everything, I know you uh, recently came to me about... <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm yawning, man. man. This kid is tired. <laughs> but um, you recently came to me about like pricing and mm-hmm. whatnot. Um, uh, Cause I know you do, you you got different prices for different things. Yeah. Cause everything is different. So how do you how do you juggle, like pricing wise? Do you have one set base price or you? Um. So like for personal training, I have one like base set of a price, but. Prices are going up, so stay tuned for that. Mm. But <laughs> she, said, she said yesterday's prices is not today prices. What? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's going up, but that's for another story for another day. Uh, I need that. <laughs> but then, like, on my website specifically, I have training plans. So, like, if you want, say, you know, you are that advanced person, you're like, yeah, I'm in the gym every day, but I get bored of what I'm doing or I don't know, like, what mm. other exercises to do. Mm. So I can make a plan customized specifically for you okay. for, you know, a month span. Mm. And so I'll send that to you. And a then you month? just, yeah. So, you, so, so when I sign up, I'm, I'm training with you for a month. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I, th- I thought it was like by day, by week, or like. Yeah, I, I ain't noticed. Oh, no, my policy changed. Ooh, okay. Policy For all my future and my current Ooh. clients, y'all already know. I sent it out. <laughs> y'all already know. Ooh-wee. New policy, okay? See, I got a month with her. Oh, uh, yeah, she going to torture y'all. <laughs> no, because what? you're not going to be able to change in a couple of days. That's true. That's you need true. a couple months, really. A month ain't cutting it. Uh, That's really pushing it. That's pushing it. Pushing it. Okay. You might see a little change, might, depending on your body type. Okay. But you really need like a good five, eight months, really, to really start seeing change. Five, eight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But yeah, so back to the pricing thing. Yeah, so like with my shirts and stuff like that, that that one, it just depends. So like if you do a customized shirt, that's a whole different price versus, hey, I have this shirt already. Can you put this logo on it? Okay. That's a whole different price. Okay. So it just depends. So what are you coming to you for? That just it just depends. Yes. Okay. I got prices for different things, but that's why I was discussing that I want to have it like, you know, all on paper, okay. plain as day, so that I can just yeah. get it to y'all. Can you, Here you go. Can you, can you stress the importance of that? You know, oh, like, yeah. Like, can you, like, stress it, like, to let people know, like, for future people that want to, like, get into a business or whatnot, mm-hmm. you want to tell them, like, hey, it got to be solidified. You got to. Yes. So yeah. I would recommend. And as you can see, I told y'all, I've been in business for almost four years now, and I'm still working on it. Like, it's always a learning process. If you're not learning, still in your business, then something wrong. Okay? There's always something new to learn, literally, um, with any aspect of life. It doesn't even have to be business-wise. But basically, I would just say to have everything on paper and stick with what you have. Don't try to twist it, turn it, change the price. Be like, well, I'll make an exception just for you. Like, no. Mm. If you're going to make an exception for that person, you're going to make an exception for everybody. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And then also, charge what you're worth. 
Mm. At the end of the day, charge me work. Mm. Some people may say no. That's mm. okay. But the next person may say yes. Mm. Say it again. Say it again. Charge what you're worth. Yes. That, but that's the problem, though. People don't know their worth. They don't know their yeah. worth until they work with somebody that's willing to pay that price. Mm -hmm. Like, I know me starting out music and whatnot and everything. I know I used to, like, sell beats and whatnot for, like, $50. $30, $50. But then I had that one client that spent like 800 on the beat. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, price is going. Oh, yeah. Because people out there, it is people out there that'll pay what your work. You mm -hmm. just have to find the right people. Yep. And that's where it comes to knowing your niche and knowing your actual audience, your audience so you know, yes. okay, these yes. are the people that I, you know, pertain to and that is going to actually pay for what I'm servicing. Yeah. So not everybody is your audience. So you got to remember all right, that. All right. Okay. Okay? All right, so all right. it's just the honest truth. Some people, they may DM you and be like, oh, your price is too high. Well, this person over here just paid them. So what's up? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Statement made. Okay. Because you are getting business. You're getting clientele. So yeah. Obviously, you can't be that much if other people are wanting your service. Mm -hmm. And that's when it comes down to like family and friends. You're like... I saw a thing on Facebook the other day that says that your client will become your friend before your friend becomes your client. Mm, I've been seeing that too. And it's it's saying, the truth. And it, it is. It Somebody is that true. you don't know, like, for example, with clothing, you'll spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on Nike clothing, Gucci, whatever the case may be, whatever name brand you want to say. Right. But you go see your friend, your friend is charging $30 for a t-shirt. Oh, that's too expensive. Mm. But you just spent a hundred dollars on this Gucci belt. Hundred fifty. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you just went past the point. You know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it's the principle. More of the story. It's the principle. Right, right, right. So why can you spend all this money on people that you don't even know? They don't care about you. They just want your money. Right. But you can't support a small business. Yeah. It don't have to be black on. Just a small business in general. Right. Okay. Okay. Had to say that. Don't gotta be black on. Yes, because okay. everybody's too big on. Oh, I gotta support black businesses. Well, I support everybody. Mm. You don't have to be I'm black. Yeah. Yeah, you can I'm be white. You can be Hispanic. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to. You can be purple for a while. <laughs> right. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna support you. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay, that's hard. That's that's good to know. So you're not against um, going outside of your own oh, shop. No. Then okay, that's good. That's good. Um, so. What what made you want to start this journey of like K slave fitness? Um, I guess it just starts back to my like my family. Mm. A lot of people know my brothers and everything like that. So like my brother, one of my brothers actually was the like salutatorian at Harding. Okay. He should have been valedictorian, but we ain't gonna get into that. Anyways, oh um, basically my brothers are very intelligent, but you know when you see a. Uh, young black male all you think of is oh he ain't gonna do nothing with his life right, right. Da, 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 whatever the case may be right. so with my brothers like they were in so many sports and stuff like that and i'm the only girl so i was around all that all of you know my childhood and everything like that right, right, so right. then once i got into high school um they had a basically a class that was just like weightlifting class at northrop okay. yes i went to northrop shout out to my bruins <laughs> Anyways, I can't talk. I can't talk. Got some cousins that go there. So yeah, uh huh. Can't talk. But anyway, so uh, I did a weightlifting class in there, and so that's when I really started loving like lifting weights. Right. Okay. Uh, and then once I got into you know college, I would kept working out, and then you know of course the freshman fifteen came. You know I was like, all right, I gotta work out even more, lose mm. all that right. that food weight. Right. That, weight. Yeah, all the weight. Just right, right, right. eating, right, just right. eating like crazy, you know. Right. But yeah, so basically, um, for our last class for my senior year, mm -hmm. when I went to my first college, we basically had to personally train one of the faculty members. Oh, okay. And so that's how I really got into like the grind of personal training because mm -hmm. it was a class and we was graded on that. Okay. Okay. So then after that, I was like helping my friends and stuff like that, training them, and I'll be like, all right. Let's do like this workout, that workout, the other. And my friend's like, oh, Carrie, okay, you should, you know, be a personal trainer. But I was like, oh, I don't know if I really want to do that. Right. 
And so once I graduated, literally the year I graduated is the year I started my business, wow. funny enough. Okay. And so wow. I really thought about it and I was like, all right, you know, let's just give it a go. Right. And that's basically what happened. It's been history ever since. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So you've been thriving, <laughs> you've been breaking the goals, you've been reaching the goals. Yeah. Okay, cool, that's good, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, I wish I was like that, y'all, man. Don't Boy, listen to him. Boy, I wish him. I was like that. Do not Ooh. listen to him. She over here, four years in the game. I got 10 plus, you feel me? Yeah. Crazy, crazy. I ain't did nothing yet, I ain't, I ain't did yes, nothing Yes, he has. Yet. He just he just won't show it on here, yet. but he has, y'all. <laughs> Don't listen to a word he's saying. He's been doing big things out here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look, so. It ain't about me. It's about you. I know. You know I, mean? I know. It's about but you. but that's how I am. I'm the type of person where, if I'm you know getting lifted up, I'm about to lift up my people too. I feel you. That's good. That's a good trait mm -hmm. to have. So where can they find you at? Right. Um, literally on all social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. It's all Casely Fitness. So I literally. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, Instagram. Your Instagram been busting. Yes. Your analytics been going crazy. You need to help me out. <laughs> consistency. Hey, consistency. Consistency. Yeah. Literally. Literally, literally. Literally. That's that's the key. With anything no. you do, anything you do, consistency is the key. Yeah, because um, I really started consistently posting on Instagram. Like I've been posting on Instagram for years and stuff like that, but just like on my business page specifically. I've been posting at certain times, so literally look at your analytics, y'all. Like, look at when people are, like, seeing your stuff, what time of day. Like, it's all in your settings. Mm. And so that's when I started posting. So I right. post personally Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Mm. I don't post on the weekends. Mm. I don't post on Tuesday, Thursday. Yes, it took me some time. Like, maybe if I posted every day, it would have, like, you know, went... Right. Higher, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Um, you got your days. Yeah, I have my days, and that's yeah. what worked for me. I rather you know stay consistent on those three days because I know I can push that content out right. rather right. than trying to post every day and I'm just posting random stuff. Mm. Always post with a purpose. Oh, cool. Literally, cool. and then on top of that, always try to engage with your audience. So when people are commenting, answer them. Don't just like it. Literally answer them. It doesn't matter right. if you yeah. put a heart emoji or a thumbs up, whatever, like uh, engage with them. And that's how, yeah, and that's helping the uh, algorithm out too. Exactly. You, you boosting up the comments, you know what I mean? And yeah. then even when you're bored and stuff like that, scroll down your stuff, comment on other people that you follow because that's going to help you as well. Right. So like beforehand, like my analytics, nope, nobody was looking at my stuff. I'll get a couple mm -hmm. likes here and there, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. But then I started doing like, you know, the trends, Posting consistently of my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every time I post at nine o'clock every right. single time. Right, right, right. And now, go check out my Instagram. I got like 3,000 views on a video I literally just posted today. No marketing. None at all. I literally no just marketing. posted it. And I'm like, dang, why is my stuff blowing up out of nowhere? That's crazy. That's what's up, though. Thank you. That's what's up. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. I need to take some tips. <laughs> you got it. No, you know. got so much content. You can I do. Know. You can go I crazy. Know. You just got posted. You right. You right. Especially like TikTok. Now TikTok a whole different story. Hey, TikTok <laughs> is TikTok is a whole nother world for real. I ain't gonna lie. Like it TikTok is. is crazy. Like if your number is not going up, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's certain numbers you got to hit like consistently. Yes. For yourself to go up. But we ain't gonna talk about TikTok. <laughs> TikTok <laughs> is TikTok is confusing right now. <laughs> Is <laughs> I'm still working on that, y'all. I'm right. getting a little bit there, but right. stay tuned for that one too. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? No, but for real, I, I do appreciate you coming on the show. You no know problem. what I mean? Even if it did take like a month to get you on this one, it was well worth it. it was well worth it. <laughs> he just do me dirty, y'all. But I still love him. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't do dirty. She do me dirty, man. So yeah, so cool. This was a good uh, episode. I think they really gonna like it. Enjoy it. I appreciate having you on. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>